Hello everybody, I'm Fabian and welcome back to the channel. This week I'm going to be showing you how to test your regulator rectifier on your motorcycle. Now in this case of course this is from my Yamaha Phaser FZ6, but uh, these are broadly the same across all larger motorcycles. So if you don't know what one of these things does, basically converts the AC, alternating current, into a DC current, a direct current. The AC current comes from the alternator or stator, and then this converts it into DC, direct current, and as that is sent over to recharge your battery. And this has a key role in managing that current so your battery isn't over or undercharged. So if this isn't working, your battery is gonna go no-no. Now to test your regulator rectifier, you will need one of these uh, multimeters. This is a relatively simple one, inexpensive one, but really does the job. If you're looking for a place to get one of these, I have a link in the description down below to Amazon. Um, I think it's only 10, 12 pounds. Really good one, does the job. Fantastic. Now to do this test, the only setting we will need is the diode check setting, which is just there. See that with the strange arrow and the line just to the left of the 2K? That one there. Now in this case here, we have a three phase regulator rectifier. That is the case for all bigger bikes. If you've got multi-cylinders, lights and all that, it will be a three phase rectifier. So you can use this method for all of it. You can tell if it's a three phase regulator rectifier if you have, so, two power nodes, that's positive and negative up here. And then these are the three phases here. In some cases in other bikes, uh, you will be testing wires that come off this. But in the case of the FZ6, you are testing it on the rectifier itself. So this is a three phase rectifier. So there are two ways to test your regulator rectifier. The first one is with positive bias. And positive bias is basically where you use your multimeter to supply a small amount of power through the unit as it is supposed to work. So the way you do this is you get the negative side of the multimeter and add it to the positive terminal on the unit, which is up here. And then you then test each of the nodes and you should get a positive reading. In this case, it seems to be around 5.0.52. Test across. Perfect. So that's positive bias. That's putting a current through the unit as it should work. Because you only want power coming from the stator and then into the rectifier in one direction, there is, you should also test the negative bias. And what negative bias does it ensures that power does not go through the unit in the way that you do not want it to go. So the way you test that is now you take the positive side of the multimeter, you put it to the positive terminal on the regulator rectifier. Now in here, in this test, you are hoping that there is no connection and that there is no backflow through the device. So you're hoping for a reading of zero or no movement at all on the multimeter. And as you can see, as I test through each of these, perfect, I'm getting no reading whatsoever. You can once again flip those over and do a forward bias, but test the other side. So here we have the negative node on the regulator rectifier, connect the positive side to that. And then here, because I'm supplying power once again through the unit, as we expect, as it should work, you should get a reading when you test each of the three nodes. This is now testing for positive bias once again. 5.0.53, 0 0.5, a little lower, maybe a cause concern, but I think it's okay. And once again, 0 0.53. That's once again testing for positive bias. Now we can use now the same side of the regulator rectifier, but switch these over and test for negative bias. Here, we want a reading of zero, of no reading or no movement whatsoever, because we're adding a small amount of power through the unit in the direction where it should not work. That's now putting the negative node on the negative node and then testing each. Nothing happening, nothing happening, nothing happening this regulator rectifier is working perfectly well. 
So that's it today. I'm really satisfied that I got that done and I know that this is in real good condition still. Thank you ever so much for watching. Please subscribe, smash that like button, share this with anyone you think you might need it. And I'll be back next week for another fantastic video.